Tokyo. That's absolutely pumping, man. Far. Should have to be. Oh, man. I'm looking over the other side there and she's. Fuck. At least 12, 13 mile an hour over there. Maybe gusting even more. So. There's going to be one thing seeing her, dear. Another one. Contemplating the wind hold and the where the deer is and blah 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 but get this heart rate down and get some glass on them hills so before a morning of glassing I need to set up my new carbon fibre shooting tripod from Sunway Photo this thing comes with spikes weighs in at a mere 1.7 kgs and runs a ball head adjustment system which allows you to pan and tilt then lock off it has these easy to operate hand tightened twist locks which allow you to extend the legs in and out, up and down and out to the sides. It receives two rail system, either Arca or Picatinny. I've gone for a Picatinny rail which gives me a bit more adjustment up and down the forend plus it's slightly lighter than the Arca rail. With the rifle now firmly locked into the tripod, I now have a number of steep downward angle shooting options, options I wouldn't have lying in the prone position. Eleven o'clock. Finally got my first deer. Just got a message from Maddie. Uh, he started walking about. Oh half an hour ago so he'll be up here by half past two so just thinking a bit of a plan with the way the wind is better it would be better for us to be double shooting an animal with two different wind holds one aggressive one sort of um, aligning to what the um, the app says um, yeah Especially if we're going to shoot kind of right across that other side there it's a pretty solid full valley wind heading that way but um it's still hissing down there man absolutely hissing still for the whole morning i've only seen one deer i must admit i did have a power nap about about half past 11. Could have been more deer at but <laughs> only in my dreams. He's hoping that the um, the wind buttons off for an evening shot because this is just shocking, just shocking. Quarter past three. Look at that. Clag sudden coming. Mr. Iorangi's joined us. I've updated him on the, the situation and within about the next half an hour he'll get into the same depressed state as I've been in all day. Well, 
I'll cut to the chase. The conditions did not get any better. In fact, I think the wind got worse. So all we found ourselves doing was standing on the blind for five to ten minutes, getting wind blasted, scuttling back under the fly, heading back out, repeating the process until we had a guts full. Bacon mash and venison saveloys for dinner. And maybe a coffee and a macaroon. Get some shut eye and hopefully better conditions tomorrow. A little bit of an update. Oh, good morning first. Um, it just not it just hasn't let up all night long. It's been shite. We'll head on out this morning and have a bit of a look around and um, see if we can't spot us a deer. If not, if it's, we'll check the forecast. It's going to stay like this, pretty much going to bugger off home. So, <sighs> anyway, we have a coffee, get some breakfast into us, wait for daylight, head on out, have a look. I've got to say, even though the conditions were still pretty shitty, it didn't seem to bother this hind that was sitting at it 450 meters straight across from us. So, here's our chance. Obviously on this shot, wind was going to be a massive factor. And with the full value right to left 30 mile an hour wind, as I had calculated it, I estimated a 40 centimeter hold right, which for my March scope, is the first left hand reticle on my FMA1 reticle. Now let's see if I get it right. Straight out there and there was one dead smack in the middle. Got these set up real fast. Squeezed off a shot. We thought we smacked her because she took off downhill. But uh, then we saw her turn around and run up all. So, but the way she behaved, don't look good. Well unfortunately, we checked the footage to confirm she wasn't hit. And with the weather forecast looking terrible, we decided we'd had enough. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Please like and subscribe and I will definitely catch you on the next adventure.